I want to make a new uh, storage unit and uh, to replace my weight tree. Um, the weight tree doesn't really work that well for me. It's kind of awkward to to get the plates out from the back side. And it's also limited in space. Um, it can't really handle that many plates. Uh, and at some point I'm going to upgrade to a few more 20 kilo plates and they won't be there. I already store some of my bumper plates uh, on the side of each of, of the rack. And uh, I have more 20 kilo plates uh, in my workshop that I'll be bringing in here after the summer. Uh, so there's more plates than I can be on the on the tree. So what I'll do, I'll build a storage unit that can be here. That will handle all my plates, all my competition kettlebells, and the bends that I have in the corner here. It will stand on top of it. As you can see here, I can have my competition kettlebells underneath the bench. Uh, there can be two in a row and there's place for three uh, rows. So six in total, but I only have four competition styles and then I have my cast iron. I'll keep the cast iron kettlebells on the right, uh, on the floor, because they are a bit heavier, so I'm not gonna put them on top of the storage unit. So let's get started with the build. Okay, so I'll be making the storage unit uh, 160 centimeters wide. Um, my bench is 110 and I have a piece of plywood that is 116. So that's uh, the length of it. The width of the storage unit is going to be 48 centimeters and um, it's going to be made by laps that are around four centimeters wide and six centimeters high. And that means uh, I will have 40 centimeters inside and that's uh, perfect for uh, for plates that are 45 centimeters because you have the round piece of it so it's going to be kind of like like that so the, so the circle of the plate is going to be just tangent to these more or less then 57 centimeters high uh, because the plates are 45 centimeters in the in diameter and since there will be two pieces of wood that are six centimeters, then that's 57, and uh, that should still be enough room to to slide it out. I'll just draw a top view. I'll be making the legs uh, this way, so uh, of the same kind of wood. Uh, four centimeters on that side and six over here. And then I'll put some uh, legs uh, in the center as well, and uh, I'll put extra wood on the inside of each leg, and that'll be out here as well. So, as you can see, I've completed my new storage unit. I have most of my plates underneath um, the shelf right now. I do have a few more in my workshop uh, that will fit in here. I guess uh, I will remove those at that time. It will be uh, after summer. Then I move those, probably put them here or, or figure out another way to store them. And then all the other 20 kilo plates will, will be underneath. My kettlebells will fit under the bench, as I said. And the bench is uh, it used to stand in the corner and I frequently moved it because it was always in the way for my training. So now it's over here uh, with all the weights and I think that's a much better solution. And the weights slide out pretty easily. Yes, and then again. So for me, that's a better solution than the weight tree. The weight tree is a really great uh, piece of equipment uh, to store your plates on, uh, but it was just too awkward for me to take them in and out, uh, especially those on the, on the back side. So the solution is uh, much better. That's it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. Here's a few other videos that might find your interest, my leg press and my other DIY projects. See you soon.